Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve December 2022 university question paper of the subject financial accounting for all the TY BMS M5 students. Now, this is the part one of our video series based on December 2022 a university question paper solution. Okay. Now, in this video, we are going to solve one very simple and very important problem sum which had come in the question paper in question number two. Okay. So, let us see how to solve that particular question. I, I can guarantee all that. Once you all have done that, uh, once you all have gone through this video, you all will be able to solve any sum, okay, based on the similar topic. Okay. So, let us see how to solve the question which had appeared in question number two. Uh, in the question paper, question number 2b was Sapna Limited issued 90,000 equity share of 20 each. The issue was underwritten as follows A 50%, B 25%, C 25%. The company received a total number of 80,000 application, including firm underwriters, and marked applications were as follows A, B, and C ka marked applications have been given 30,000, 15,000, and 5,000. After that, they are giving you the firm underwriting is A, 5000, B, 3000 and C, 2000. Okay, determine the liability of each of the underwriters if number one, benefit of firm underwriting is given and second, when benefit of firm underwriting is not given. Okay, now very simple problem sum. Let us start first when the firm underwriting benefit is given. Now, remember the format, very simple it is. Okay, the solution is here. Now I'll explain you how to get that particular answer. Okay. Now the steps will be, you know, the columns will be steps, particulars, basis, A, B, C, because they are giving you three underwriters and total. First of all, they said Sapna Limited issued 90,000 equity shares. I've written here total may 90,000. Step number one is called gross liability. Okay. 90,000 is the total number of shares that are supposed to be issued and they have to be underwritten in the ratio. 50%, 25% and 25% so that we have written under the basis. So 90,000 into 50% is 45,000. 90,000 into 25% is 22,500 and again 22,500. Step number one, always gross liability. From gross liability, the next step will be less marked application. Okay, the marked application will always be the actual value which they have given us 30,000, 50,000 and 5,000. So 30, 15, 5 total is 50,000. Subtracted, we get our step number three balance that is A minus B. 45 minus 30 is 15,000. 22,500 minus 15 is 7,500. 22,500 minus 5 is 17,500. Total comes to 40,000. Okay. After subtracting the marked application, the next comes unmarked application. Now, how to find unmarked? See, it is said that the company has received total 80,000 application, including firm underwriting. So now firm underwriting were 5,000, 3,000 and 2,000 that's 10,000 and marked applications were 50,000. So out of 80,000 minus 50,000 and minus 10,000. So okay 80 minus 60 is gone. So 20,000 is remaining. So unmarked application total is 20,000. Now that 20,000 has to be divided as per GL ratio that is 50 is to 25 is to 25. So we get the amount as 10,000, 5,000 and 5,000. Subtracted, you will get the balance. So C minus D, 15 minus 10 is 5, 7.5 minus 5 is 2.5, 17,500 minus 5,000 is 12,500. Total comes to 20,000. Okay, now when the firm underwriting benefit is given, step number F is very important. Less firm underwriting. When the benefit is given, the firm underwriting, we will always take the actual value which has been given to us. That was 5,000, 3,000, and 2,000. We have taken that. Subtracted, we get a new balance. So 5 minus 5 is nil. 2.5 minus 3000 is negative 500. 12,500 minus 2000 is 10,500. Total comes to 10,000. Now, at this particular step, always check if there is any negative. Now, B has a negative value. Negative means it has issued more, you know, underwritten more than what it was supposed to underwrite. So that is an excess credit. So the rule states that if there is any negative value, Okay, you can set it off or you can adjust the credit to that underwriter who require it. Okay, now A is already nil, so no, it doesn't require anything. So what we'll do here, this 500, we will adjust it with uh, underwriting C. Okay, so we'll write a less credit adjusted. 
here it will become positive 500 because at the end we need the values to be as nil and 500 will get subtracted from 10,500 and we'll get the new balance a is nil b will become nil and c is 10,000 total comes to 10,000 okay so first you less firm underwriting adjust the credit if there is nothing else pending everything is positive now last step will be you add back the firm underwriting which is again the actual value so 5,000 3,000 2,000 gets added and that will be your final answer as net liability which is 5,000 3,000 and 12,000 that will be okay i minus i plus j okay that was the last step so the total balance comes to 20,000 see 80,000 applications were received okay out of which 10,000 was underwriting firm underwriting and 10,000 was pending because 90,000 was the total so your balance is 20,000 which is matching with the given data okay so under firm underwriting always remember whenever benefit is given okay the firm underwriting will be taken as actual now let us see what is the difference if firm underwriting benefit is not given okay remember till step number e it will remain the same it only happens changes only takes place at step number uh, f okay so now next when firm underwriting benefit is not given okay again gross liability remains the same marked application whatever values were there again we take it same let's say we get the balance unmarked again the same you minus it and we get the balance again same up to step e is exactly same now step number f whenever firm underwriting benefit is not given first step add up the total underwriting firm underwriting so 5 plus 3 plus 2 is 10,000 that 10,000 you will take it in the total column and now this particular 10,000 will be divided as per GL ratio that is the only difference between when benefit is given and benefit is not given when the benefit is given take the actual value when the benefit is not given whatever is the total of firm underwriting divide that in the ratio that is called uh, that's the difference between when the benefit is given and not given so we subtract it 5 minus 5 is nil 2 and a half minus 2 and a half is nil 12 and a half minus 2500 10,000 now there is no negative value available so we don't have any step to do the any uh, adjust credit so last step add firm underwriting the actual remember last step may whenever you add back firm, firm underwriting whether it is you know benefit is given or not given we will always take the actual values it's only in step number five that there is a difference between when benefit is given and not given okay so we take the actual value five three two last step you add it up step number g and h so nil plus 5 is 5, nil plus 3 is 3, 10 plus 2 is 12. Total comes to 20,000. Okay, so this was question number 2B which had come for 15 marks. Very simple based on underwriting of shares. If you all have understood this particular sum, I can guarantee you all that you all can solve any kind of sum based on underwriting of shares. Okay, Chalo, this was question number 2B. I hope everyone have understood it. Now let us check what is the next question available.